this question was asked. Question is saying that you have been inspired by Max Weber. This, what is that link? तो जो भी सिमिलर होगा वो इंस्पायर्ड हो जाएगा नो नो यस ठीक है Hmm. That inspired aspect is key in this answer. People will write similarity differences bina bataye. This, <laughs> that's not the point. Point is the key aspect of the question. Ki what inspired? Kya Riggs kya baat karne gaye the Max Weber se? This, ya yeah, Max Weber ne unko inspire kiya tha. Transformational theory of leadership, inspirational motivation. <laughs> this. So, who inspired is key for your answer. What you will write? The inspired is that if Max Weber bureaucracy became most dominant model of comparison. Up to us, I said by background, silicone, CPA and ideal models were formulated in CPA. CPA was, <coughs> let's say, a result of let's say, its own context. One is that it was trying to achieve, overcome weaknesses of traditional public administration. Which was ideographic, ethnocentric. This Max Weber also belongs to that ethnocentric era, his bureaucracy. This, but since it has a legal rational characteristics, it became one such dominant model in comparative analysis. In fact, Rick's ideal models can be also linked with Max Weber legal rational structure. And then you can talk of similarity. Ki how they had similarity, fused prismatic and this, this traditional charismatic authority and diffracted and legal rational authority. This. Then it was also to, be, to become a universal theory. Max Weber formulated universal model, CP also aimed at achieving universal model. It was also ideal model, that was also ideal model. So you can write some similarity between them. This. Then you can write a bit of difference. Differences are not being asked here. Rather, the link is being asked. The more focus in the others will be link between them. The, the complex relationship that we are saying, even if they have differences, but they are inseparable. In a way, let's say that Max Weberian bureaucracy can be considered as inspiration because it has influenced developments, further developments, further research and analysis on bureaucracy and administration. This so that we can formulate a universal model. As since it was legal rational model or ideographics, it could not be considered universally applicable. So means you have to apply lots of efforts to prove that there was inspiration of Max Weber for Frederick's. This that is how we have to write it, right? So that part then. And let me show you okay, how people write answers. This. So we brought it to show that okay, how they write. This was the question in our test that we have asked. A similar question on that, but a bit different. Let's see. That was inspiration. It is comparison. Yesterday we asked a question. Now, let's how the story starts with. It is a good start, but then these all, let's say that, ki, our own creation, mental trying to customize the answer. 
then fused society explained, diffractive society explained, prismatic society explained, one page is gone. This. So, two page ho gaya, abhi tak answer suru nahi ho Then, ab yaha se suru hote, Max Weber sahab, rule based, this. Aate ya ke, teen page ho gaya. This. Abhi tak answer suru nahi ho. Iske baad ek hi page bacha ho gaya. <coughs> However, even Rick's view was half truth. Chal raha hai na, post truth world. This half truth, pessimistic, this and that. Koi jarurat nahi tha isko likhne ka. This. Ab reforms pe a gaya. Baat matlab chal raha tha idhar, bullet train ke. <laughs> right. A gaya passenger train par. This. Mission karm yogi kaha se aagya? Kaubi me itna jaga nahi hota likho kitna right remark. Right. Uske baad kya hai? Ye itna to pata tha. This is how she is writing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is, I think, more than two times men's written, I, that, as far as our knowledge, and our student also, let's say. This is why I am in the Check it out, I have a copy. So, I have a copy of copies. Check it out. It is very hot, it is very hot. Anyhow, so. 20 marks में चलो marks अगर ये mains नहीं होता तो eight and half भी नहीं मिलता ठीक है mains चल रहा है क्या फायदा है मतलब मतलब कई बार मतलब चेहरा देख के marks देना पड़ता है भाई क्या है ना बच्चा hot हो जाएगा already hot है <laughs> This. So that is how it is. एक और है कोई साहब देखते हैं क्या लिखते हैं. Although he writes a good answer, but यहाँ पे सब लोग पता नहीं क्यों नहीं लिख पाए. ये अभी तक मैं समझा नहीं. Similarity is not written. It starts with this. One page is gone. <laughs> देखो वार एक पेज कैसे खत्म होता है पता नहीं चलेगा. Yes. ठीक है अभी background भी ठीक से नहीं लिखा. This. A huge prismatic शुरू होता है. फिर भी ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत. Then characteristics he talks about. Riggs described. Now Max Weber. To Max Weber he talks lack of ecological setting. This. <coughs> he is saying in lack of illusion that is acceptable, but let us say what he talks. He is saying that 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 he is <laughs> this. He did not consider various cross developing countries and ecological setting. <laughs> right. This. Uske <clears throat> hence typology risks Weber applicable cross ecological suitable modification needed. Wo sahi hai, but us context may answer nahi likna hai. इस द क्वेश्चन का कॉन्टेक्स्ट कुछ और है उस कॉन्टेक्स्ट को आंसर किया नहीं सिर्फ ये है इसीलिए वो 10 एंड हाफ मिल गया ये वाला ये वाला पार्ट उसको पता है बस तो सोसाइटी 20th सेंचुरी दिस एंड दैट एनीहाउ 
that is how let's say that both are writing men's examination he has also written i guess it will be more than two men's this ye hamare matlab apne students hain sab kuch pata hai inko fir bhi nahi likhte hain ye bhi samajh lo aap kyun nahi likhte hain god knows डिस्टॉर्सन हो जाता है तब तक राइट अब जैसे ही आप और सब्जेक्ट्स पढ़ना शुरू करोगे तो पता चलेगा कि और सब्जेक्ट का इन्फ्लुएंस एथिक्स का भी इन्फ्लुएंस आ गया पब्लिक एड में एथिक्स का तो एथिक्स में लिखने को मिलता नहीं है आजकल दिस इज इट वाज नॉट दैट simple i think one person has written good answer otherwise in among all a one person has written <coughs> then and now let's take this so we have some other questions acha wala dekhna padega tumaro next time i can show that this <coughs> let's take some other questions feral head it will answer it after some time we have not taught yet then feral head it three stages model will teach you what is the three stages model dex differentiation तो यू कैन नॉट आंसर दिस कैन यू आंसर दिस ग्लोबलाइजेशन आपको पता है रिक्स भी पता है तो बताओ फिर it is seen that they have a lack of coordination and with another emerges like the whole of government approach uh, there is a lack of coordination and uh, in this we can say that uh, we gave a concept of integration that is both uh, integration and differentiation uh, sorry differentiation will result, result into prismatic society hmm uh, this is <coughs> are you able to understand नहीं समझ में आया चलो ये बताओ पोस्ट ग्लोबलाइजेशन एरा क्या है तो कैन यू आल्सो से इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट दैट सिंस इन द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज देयर वर बिहेवियरल चेंज एंड दैट्स व्हाई दे कुड हैव लाइक अ मोर फ्रूटफुल पोस्ट ग्लोबलाइजेशन एरा हाउएवर इन द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज इट वाज बिट फोर्स देयर वाज अ चेंज इन द बिहेवियर दैट्स व्हाई इट इज इट इज नॉट एज yes the post globalization is time after globalization this means when globalization has happened we have experienced globalization ki what was globalization positives and negatives largely the negatives then it comes let's say ki after globalization phase we say it post globalization or you can say it as re globalization or you can say it as bringing state back corporate welfare state the post globalization will will be era represented as called corporate welfare state that as per now what happens in corporate welfare state so corporate welfare state brings whole of the government approach re regulation this kai sare cheezo ko aapko integrate karna padega question ko samajhne ke liye this so whole of the government approach re-regulation what is re-regulation yeah, 
वट इज रीरेगुलेशन अभी तो दो दिन पहले बात हुई थी रीरेगुलेशन इज अबाउट मर्जिंग रेगुलेटर्स राइट वेर एवर पॉसिबल वी नीड टू मिनिमाइज रेगुलेटर्स जेंटेड वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज regulators wherever possible merging unified regulatory body now you link with differentiation integration of rigs so what rig says in rigs language let's say differentiation is always a positive thing but in reregulation differentiation is not always always positive thing even if there is integration but differentiation too much of differentiation is bad but when he formulated his differentiation and integration model he he let's say posits differentiation something as positive but we realize in globalization phase ki differentiation happens there may be integration that's not the point point is that ki too much of differentiation is not good the problem is not at integration level where he cited problem problem at integration level we are facing problem at differentiation level in in prismatic society revisited model what he says integration and mal integration the mal integration is a problem but in post globalization era you think that ki differentiation itself is a problem it is not necessary that ki you should go for differentiation so what we are doing reversing it we are not trying to bring integration only we are trying to reverse dif- differentiation we are minimizing the number of differentiation like say ki education ugc and aict merged forward market commission and sebi merged so what you are doing reversing differentiation that will be the content of answer right this is what we have to write yes but that's not the point or <laughs> that that is not the demand basically this the first will start critically examine the positive still we will justify that does not mean differentiation is not important still you will justify differentiation integration critically examine means pros and cons you have to write both sides when it is given in beginning part so you can just write about rigs rigs say he gave his ideal models on the basis of differentiation and integration differentiation represents this integration represent this and just you can show one or two things on that then you will write about globalization globalization and post globalization so post globalization is there representing corporate welfare state in which there was realization that there should be reregulation whole of the government approach and you will write ki how <laughs> differentiation was a problem too much differentiation this and there you will say that ki how rigs was not uh, means rigs differentiation differentiation integration cannot be considered appropriate in post globalization era it needs modification that problem is not only at integration level problem can also be at differentiation level differentiation may not always indicate progress too much of differentiation may result into balkanization and it can itself create problem of coordination that's why whole of the government approach came and you can give some examples then con side however still rigs cannot be rejected relevance cannot be rejected of differentiation and integration rather even in, in globalization in some respect his model is even more relevant relevant in the sense that ki they indicate the process of change process of development and that can be considered still more relevant in the context of developing countries as they have to still undergo differentiation and achieve integration so there you can link developing countries this that is the question that is the answer next this is a simple question first question rigs observed three trends no this question this you know this 
इट इज अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन नो क्या ये भी नहीं पता है क्या पता है यस वही थ्री ट्रेंड्स यस वही लिखना है दिस द थ्री ट्रेंड्स यू हैव टू राइट नीचे जब पहुंचोगे लिखने के बाद मतलब नीचे नहीं ग्राउंड फ्लोर पर सो फिर आप लिखना कि इवन इफ देर आर थ्री ट्रेंड्स बट पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज ऑल्सो करेक्टराइज बाय मेथोडोलॉजिकल प्लूरलिज्म नॉर्मेटिव अप्रोच इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एज वेल एज कल्चरल बाउंडेडनेस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू फॉर्मुलेट इंडिजेनस मॉडल and in today's perspective there is more emphasis as mino brook third conference gives that public administration should follow methodological pluralism that should be the a bit of aspect now next question next question this is another question same year ask two question they ask No, what you will write? Dix can change his theory order to create perfect model. What is perfect model? Revisited model, by... Revisited model is perfect model. Yes, revisited model is perfect model. This. So what you will do is that you will write Dix full practice. agraria industria fuse prismatic prismatic sala right sirf challenge ye hai ki aap fuse prismatic itna mat likhna taki revisited aate aate space khatam ho jaye aur is question ka yahi challenge hai is question ka yahi challenge aap likh ke dekh sakte ho right this we have already asked repeated this in test so what people do is the alag alag question ka alag alag challenge hota hai this <coughs> it is a simple question you have to write perfect model but then you can write to so criticism few very less criticism the criticism is not let's needed then you can conclude by talking relevance <laughs> your focus will be on prismatic society revisited एग्रेरिया इंडस्ट्री सिर्फ मेंशन करो डोंट राइट एनीथिंग फ्यूज प्रिजमेटिक का थ्री तीन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लिखो प्रिजमेटिक सैला का भी वो चारों जैसे तीन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड अदर्स यू राइट एंड जस्ट कम टू प्रिजमेटिक सोसाइटी रिविस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन इट दिस दैट शुड बी द अप्रोच टू राइट देन वी हैव टू राइट किट इज जस्ट टू टेल वन थिंग दैट इफ यू रीड प्रसाद एंड प्रसाद So they write like this. So <coughs> they write like this. <coughs> We call integration and differentiation. but it is not a let's it is a precarious way to ex- illustrate it is not a let's say a sound way to reflect the relationship between differentiation and integration but bahut sare logo ko aasan hai kal ko aap padhoge prasad this is how i say distortion to distortion kaise hota hai thoda sa aur aap pad loge to thoda sa pad loge to aap jo padhoge wo likhna shuru karoge jo padhaya gaya hai wo ho gaya distortion this this is how gradually let's say that so students we have experience of gradually aapko is hamara tendency kya hai naya cheez padhne ka hai na naya cheez koi aata hai market mein leke aaya do char page padha yes this this is how the tendency human has to so, bahut sare log dheere dheere notes padhna band kar dete hai this kuch aur padhte hai फिर वो सारा नोट्स में क्या है ये भी उनको पता नहीं रहता है सो दे विल ड्रॉ दिस नॉट व्हाट वी हैव टोल्ड दैट 
अब वो क्या करते हैं उनको ये समझ में आता नहीं है देखो ये वाला लाइन बड़ा होना चाहिए ये छोटा होना चाहिए दिस लाइन शुड बी बिगर दैन दिस वन राइट बट एग्जाम में तो बन जाए वही काफी है इंटीग्रेशन टेक्स टाइम डिफ्रेंशिएशन टेक्स लेस टाइम लेस दैट इज हाउ तो इवन यू डैट कैन बी ऑल्सो ड्रॉन इट इज सिंपल बट बी कॉशस हालांकि कोई जरूरी नहीं कि एग्जामिनर उस पर ध्यान देगा बट एग्जामिनर आपके डिसिप्लिन भी देखता है ये भी समझ लो दो चीज डिसिप्लिन एंड एथिक्स एथिक्स मतलब जो फैक्ट्स लिख रहे हो उसमें सच्चाई कितना है ब्लफ मार रहे हो राइट तो कुछ कुछ मतलब ऐसे लोग थे रियल ब्रीड है मतलब रेयर ब्रीड कुछ होते हैं ऐसे राइट वो समझते हैं कि कुछ मतलब फैक्ट्स ऐसा लिखते हैं हम लोग मतलब घूम जाते नहीं होता है चक्कर आ जाता है ऐसा होता है क्या लिख दिया भाई इतने सालों के पढ़ने के बाद हमें पता ही नहीं है क्या लिख रहा है कहाँ से पता चल गया इसको ए आर सी सेकेंड डॉक्यूमेंट्स आज तक उसने कुछ ऐसा बोला ही नहीं है फिर हम लोग फैक्ट चेक करते हैं राइट क्या लिख रहा है तो चेक करने से पहले ही पता चल जाता है मान लो थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखो और चेक करो कॉपी तो कहीं ना कहीं वो मिस्टेक पकड़ा जाता है तो गलत फैक्ट्स लिखने वाला है वो कहीं ना कहीं और ऐसा गलत लिख जाएगा कि बिल्कुल क्लियरली पता चल जाएगा बस तो एथिक्स और डिसिप्लिन डोंट फॉरगेट इट आए या नहीं आए वो अलग बात दिस इज सुन और बिकॉज ठीक है ठीक है वो तो टॉप कर गए राइट इसलिए चल रहा है सब मार्केट में राइट इसीलिए आंसर आंसर्स डिस्टॉर्ट हो रहा है आंसर में हम लोग देखते हैं कि ये लोग कहाँ से सीख रहे हैं टॉपर्स में तो एक बच्चे की कॉपी में लिखा हमने क्या ये टॉपर्स का कॉपी करके लिख रहे हो बस इसलिए कि वो गलत है बस देखो कोई जरूरी नहीं है ना कि टॉपर्स अगर टॉप कर गया तो कोई जरूरी नहीं कि ईच लाइन रिटर्न हिज कॉपी इज करेक्ट हाउ कैन यू से दिस दूसरे साल तो वो टॉप ही नहीं कर सकता है मैं बोलता हूं फिर से अपियर कराओ उसको देर इज नो गारंटी कंसिस्टेंसी नहीं है अरे दूसरे साल प्रलिम्स नहीं होता है अब सिलेक्शन की तो बात छोड़ो सो so, इनफैक्ट जिसका एक साल मार्क्स आ जाता है दूसरे साल अगर वो अपीयर हो रहा है उसके पास बिगेस्ट चैलेंज है कि वो उतना नहीं ला पाएगा इसलिए मार्क्स एक बार अच्छा आना चाहिए तो सिलेक्शन हो जाना चाहिए दिस दिस वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस वी हैव वन स्टूडेंट हु हैड 167 मार्क्स इन पेपर सेकेंड पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हाइएस्ट चार साल पहले आया था अभी तक सिलेक्शन है दिस तो दिस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मार्क्स आना कंसिस्टेंसी मेंटेन करना अपने आप में चैलेंज है दिस इसलिए टॉपर्स कोई जरूरी नहीं कि एक हर कॉपी में जो लिखा है वो सब सही है नो no. कभी ऐसा नहीं होता है बट जो नकल करने वाले हैं आजकल आजकल तो मतलब इतना ज्यादा हो गया है कि आपके ऊपर अपना डिपेंडेंट ही आप अपने आप पे ट्रस्ट ही नहीं है कॉन्फिडेंस ही नहीं है पहले कोई कॉपी देखता भी नहीं था पहले का हम लोग याद है प्रिंस धवन का कॉपी देते कोई लेता भी नहीं था लड़के ये सोचते थे हम इससे अच्छा आंसर लिख दे ये था कल्चर तो कॉपीज का कल्चर नहीं होता था इसलिए बहुत सारे पहले के कॉपीज नहीं मिलेगा इसलिए कोई लेता नहीं था लेता नहीं था तो देने का भी कल्चर नहीं था कभी कभी उस बच्चों को शो करते थे बट नो बडी वॉज इंटरेस्टेड टू टेक एंड सी दे हैड द कॉन्फिडेंस कि दे विल डू बेटर आज क्या है टॉपर्स का कॉपी लाते हैं डिटो जस्ट मतलब वो जैसे लाइन बनाते हैं वैसे लाइन बनाते हैं जैसे इलस्ट्रेशन बनाते हैं वैसे इलस्ट्रेशन अपना आंसर राइटिंग हैंड राइटिंग सही था उसका फॉलो करके गलत कर लिया this and that is how it is so this is a distortion let's say that it is not going to work by dekho 
lakhs of people are appearing. Right. 15,000 people, 18,000 people are writing bands. So, if there is no one, then there will be a result. Now, in the last over, the baller who is coming to the six ball, he is not a batsman, he is an idol. If you want to make a batsman, then what is the problem? Now, I will tell you the problem. But this is how the challenge right? Anyhow, forget about this. This, let's say, rigs, let's say, you, you should write. It is a simple question. Only challenge that time was very less people know prismatic society revisited model. Up to Pada Chal Gaya hai, let's say, ki hota hai. Nahi to, bahu sara log jo self study karte hai, ya nahi, let's say that, unko nahi pata hota hai. So they will know only huge prismatic diffracted model. Yes. Then next. <laughs> this. Can you understand this? Someone is saying that there was a teacher who says, make your own facts and write some institution name like UN uh, prior to get legitimacy means an examiner is not going to read reports of United Nations and will leave that ki kaha hi hoga. Look, kya UPSC full logo ko betha rakha hai? Hmm, kya baat? Achhi baat? Phir to padna hi nahi hai. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> United Nation. <laughs> right. ठीक है. ठीक है. अच्छा है. पढ़ने के बहुत सारे बहाने हैं. तो अच्छी बात. But <clears throat> ये भी आपको पता होना चाहिए कि जो उनके पास pool of people है ना वो काफी experienced होते हैं. उनको भी कंसिस्टेंसी मेंटेन करना होता है, उनको भी ये जस्टिफाई करना होता है कि अगर किसी को मार्क्स 400 आ रहा है और किसी का 350 आ रहा है, तो क्यों आ रहा है? कोई फर्स्ट रैंक ला रहा है, कोई टेंथ रैंक ला रहा है, तो उसमें डिफरेंस क्यों है? नहीं तो मार्केट में क्या होगा? क्यों आस हो जाएगा? अगर कोई हंड्रेड रैंक पे आया है कोई फर्स्ट रैंक पे है तो उसमें डिफरेंस तो होना चाहिए ना नहीं तो यू नो व्हाट विल हैपन टू यूपीएससी पीपल विल नॉट लीव यूपीएससी इट विल बी क्वेश्चन बस इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि जो मर्जी जो कुछ लिख देगा और मार्क्स मिल जाएगा बस फिर तो फिर डिफरेंस क्या है एक मेरिटोरियस क्या एक जो पढ़ लिख के एग्जाम दे रहा है और एक बिना पढ़े एग्जाम दे रहा है डिफरेंस क्या है फिर तो कोई पढ़ेगा ही नहीं। This, anyhow, let's talk this. Are you able to understand? What is the question? It is the first question, which was about comparison between. Old comparative public administration and new comparative public administration. Yes. That we have compared. Administrative ideas must be seen in the context of environment in which they develop. In the light of to examine influence of new public management and information on comparative public administration. Yes. So 
these things came when? These things came 19, 80s, 90s, and CPA came during 19, 50s, 60s. So this becomes old CPA, and they are going to influence new CPA. <coughs> The new CPA 1980s onwards, it was influenced by not only let's say public policy paradigm 5, it will paradigm 6 also. And then paradigm 5, paradigm 6, both are related to new public management. If you see at the same time also information communication technology. So how let's say comparative studies increased because of globalization, we have written that globalization. And globalization is also influenced by new public management and information communication technology. Like say, today data you will find that right? data is easily available. Comparative studies are easily available here and there. So that comparison has increased. So this you will interpret in the context of new CPA. Let's say you will talk they have influence comparative administration field. Let's say Simonesque and Weldonian perspective. The Simonesque is of Minobrook third conference. Simonesque perspective or Minobrook second conference. Simonesque perspective will be more about managerial aspect this information technology and management then administrative ideas must be seen in the context of environment this this you have to compare that administration has ecological perspective administration has ecological perspective administration is influenced by ecology of its time this broadly we can have two different two different set of ecology one that in 1940s and 50s, one is 1990s. 1940s and 50s influence emergence of CPA field. This how CPA emerged. Then you write old CPA a bit. 1990s environment was different. It was led by LPG time, new right philosophy, ICT at sectors. And those things influenced public administration. And that time the focus of public administration was more about implementing the theoretical developments rather than theoretical formulation. So you have, you have to start with ecology of administration, then explain the statement ki how administration should be seen in the context of its environment, draw that ecological aspect, this draw the two, draw the two parallels, 40s and 50s time, 90s time, and then you start right ki how CPA emerged during 50s and 60s, which was different from CPA, which emerged due to influence of new public management, information communication technology. Talk some differences on that and then go and conclude it. This. So that way we can consider this question. So those who do not have knowledge about contemporary CPA, they will not be able to interpret it. The question is not about new public management or information communication technology, rather they have mentioned as impact of them on CPA. That was first such question which was expected question on comparison between CPA and new CPA. Then this failure to discard its el elitist character and West centric orientation has led to decline of competitive public administration. This, it is a simple question. What is that simple? So CPA was depicting that the world has problems and the West had the solutions. And they were uh, comparing the uh, ecology of developing countries with the developed countries ecology by taking its reference. Elitist character is here related to first that key those academicians belonging to the Western society, having a Western perspective. Western perspective of, let's say that, comparing developing countries from developed countries perspective, diffracted society. Means developing countries should also develop in the fashion developed countries have developed. That we can consider first. Second, academic approach, theory building. That we should build an empirical theory those three trends, that aspect you can consider. Basically, you have to write that ki how that elitist character means adoption of empirical method, not empirical method, descriptive approach, and let's say idea to compare with a diffracted society, 
any deviation of developing countries from defracted society will be considered underdevelopment. It means considering developed countries as absolute standard. There is only one standard. This, there is only one standard. If any country is not matching with their standard, it is underdeveloped. How it can be? This, in fact, there are different parameters of development. This, which were brought later stage. So that can be, and that became basis for failure because developing countries cannot be. They have different, let's say, culture. They have society, tradition, history. They do we, we have to see their evolution in the light of that rather than seeing from the Western perspective. This. And since they were trying to compare with Western society, that was one such cause of failure. This. And that is how it was criticized. However, let's say that it was not only elitist character, let's say that. There were also other factors like say Ford Foundation, conditionalities, Cold War strategy, and also constraints in theory building. You cannot formulate a theory in 10 years studying such heterogeneous countries. This, the weight of that factor can also be it. This. Yes, yes, not a problem. Approach to study administration in this environmental context is especially more useful for developing countries. Why is it more useful for developing countries? This question. So developing countries we generalize development whereas western countries are stability and low and outflow here. <laughs> So specifically for developing countries, if they were to uh, build any, if do any kind of study, they really needed to understand that environmental context and that's when it became much more important to understand from that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that is how we can write, but you can add more in that. See, developed countries have already years of studies. They have already years of development, in fact, centuries of development. This, so you had, let's say that case, scientific management started 1850s. If you see the background, it was only 1911 it was formulated, but if you see the background of its evolution, it goes to 1850s. You have regulatory institutions created 1887. This other countries create regulation after almost one century. <laughs> so they have a long history of their evolution and development, and already let's say the first 50 years, theoretical development happens in <coughs> sorry. Theoretical development happens in their ecology. Can we say? All those classical, behavioral, leadership, all the theoretical development happens in their country. Let's say other experiment, it happens in their country. So they know about their ecology, they know about their system, and system has achieved relative stability. As far as the relationship between environment and administration is concerned, ecology and administration is concerned, already it is explained, and at the same time it is stabilized. But in developing countries, they are yet to explain. We have no any, let's say, if I say, uh, do we have a system that we can explain in our country how politics has influenced Indian administration? How coalition politics has influenced Indian administration? How Indian society has influenced Indian administration? Do we have any study? Hardly we may have any study. So we are yet to explain relationship between ecology and administration. That's why it will be more relevant in developing countries because they still do not know. Rather, we are more dependent. World Bank will study, we will follow it. 
So they are yet to explain the relationship between administration and ecology and they are more process of change. They are in transition. So when they are in transition, it will make sense to understand developing countries in their ecology. That is how we can consider about this. Although there cannot be such kind of watertight separation, towards the end you can write. This is called in modern context, Rix. इतना नॉलेज तो हो ही जाएगा तब तक तो आपको ये डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है कि वो आइडेंटिफाई कैसे करेंगे ये भी एक चैलेंज है तो यू विल हैव टू हैव डेट लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि आप ये इंटरप्रेट करो कि वो कैस किसका क्वेश्चन है राइट दिस सो व्हेन इट इज आस्किंग लेट मी टॉक क्या था क्वेश्चन This, तो वेन यू सी दैट तो कौन बात करेगा स्टडी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेक्शन बी में और किसी चैप्टर में तो है नहीं देर इज नो एनी अदर चैप्टर देर इज ओनली कंपेरेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन तो यूल अंडरस्टैंड कि येस इट इज कंपेरेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन राइट दिस इज एन अदर चैलेंज नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ चैलेंज राइट और यू पी वाले तो वो पता ही है कि इस चैप्टर का उस चैप्टर से उनको कोई मतलब नहीं है अरे कई सारे क्वेश्चन का चैप्टर से कोई रिलेशन नहीं है क्वेश्चन से मैटर है अरे बट क्वेश्चन का एक अपना कॉन्टेक्स्ट होता है दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई सो देन लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई दिस दिस रिक्स इन टर्म हैज ऑल टूगेदर डिसअपियर्ड हैज नॉट ऑल टूगेदर डिस बट have emerged in different forms with new meanings what different forms and new meanings rixian terms terms have emerged with new meaning sorry different forms with newer meanings hmm it will be shoes prismatic diffracted society that one and differentiation integration and other that so this if you talk three three that uh, three trends so that also ecological and uh, empirical and uh, called uh, <coughs> nomothetic that for methods we have methodological pluralism that you can consider but for differentiation integration yes decentralization can be let's say democratization decentralization this integration with governance and more network more governance you can consider so you have more so re-regulation whole of the government approach re-regulation whole of the government approach but let's say you have network governance the network governance is also an integration let's say different institutions you have you bring integration so he says that ki differentiation and integration it results into diffraction but if you have many such institutions and they are integrated it can be also considered as a network just so you can see it as a network you can say you can see it as hierarchy you can say this different institution so that kind of new terms you can add whatever we find let's say that regovernmentalization so similarly let's say when we talk about differentiation integration so that integration the you want to create a coherence 
to the coherent system we want to create basically the idea is differentiation integration means there should be greater coherence in different institutions the same that greater coherence we are trying to achieve by different methods it can be considered whole of the government approach this so there are not so many terms also you should know that we do not have so many terms new terms to add but these are let's say two three terms if you mention it is adequate enough to write on this question. So can we write that the differentiation which Riggs has uh, uh, administered and highlighted in a positive way, but now in present context it has seen in the negative way? Yes, that can also be different meaning means differentiation cannot always be positive and formalism cannot always be negative. The Walson model also you can talk, formalism can be positive also. The positive model, not only negative model, this, that way you can consider. This was the question related to change. First time they asked, this is how, I think it is 2022, 21. So the more exogenetic the process of diffraction, the more formalistic and heterogeneous its prismatic phase. This, the more endogenetic, the less formalistic and heterogeneous. It, it's a straightforward question. <clears throat> it is a straight, a straightforward question, let's say. There is just explain the process of change. And first is related to exogenous, it will be prismatic as we told. Second is endogenous, less prismatic that we have told. You can give some example. Diffracted society, developing countries. Then examine the hypothesis. So what examine part you will write? Is there any, any, any other view on this? The change cannot be completely endogenetic or exogenetic. This is should also know that. Change will always be having elements of both. This developing countries will have more exogenous, less endogenous. Developed countries have more endogenous, less exogenous. But in globalized environment, we cannot say that the change will be only endogenetic or exogenetic. This and any exogenetic change cannot be necessarily considered negative. If any country has best practice, so what goes in learning from that? This, what goes in learning from that? Like say ki, although we started, we will take next chapter. So we started called Lijat Papad was started in 1956 this as self-help group in india it is considered first such group of self-help but it is not given credit rather it is grameer bank which gets the credit for beginning of self-help group grameer bank was found in 1974 in bangladesh and grameer bank became successful so when grameer bank became successful so we started Marida project in Masur 1989 and then NABARD initiated 1992 NABARD Link Self Help Group program, inspired by success of Grameen Bank. And then now we are more successful than Bangladesh. <coughs> Means we cannot say that we have bigger, let's say our self help group sector has grown like anything. So, learning from outside is not necessarily bad. The exogenous change may not always be prismatic. This examine part, you have to write a bit of the other side. This, and that is how the questions are asked, let's say, on comparative public administration. So we hope that you will be able to answer all questions. This, all questions. Next we'll talk is next topic. जो मर्जी है लिख दो बस
देखो कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं जो आपको जो आता है लिख दो पढ़ने के लिए नहीं होता पढ़ाने के लिए नहीं होता दिस तो लास्ट ईयर दे आस दिस क्वेश्चन तो इट इज ए सिंपल क्वेश्चन आई गेस स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सीधा क्वेश्चन है तो इस बार तो सीपीएस से क्वेश्चन नहीं आएगा फिर आपके टाइम पर आएगा इस बार रिक्स से आने वाला है दिस इज बात इसे जल्दी दिस इज हाउ दिस फॉलो दिस सो क्रिटिकली एग्जाम है व्हाट यू विल राइट Yes. New objective, new orientation than its previous counterparts. No. So what we will write it? Hmm. Yes, the new objective and orientation. So you have to do. You don't have to completely agree when they have written in the end critically examined. We don't have to completely agree with the question. We can say that although there were differences, but still, contemporary CPA cannot be completely separable from old CPA. That's it has still let's say cross cultural cross national. It will still have empirical as orientation. It will still have let's say inclination even if it does not say but it has inclination to formulate theory, theory building, not universal so middle range theory. It will have theoretical orientation. It is still Western driven. It is still Western driven. Remember Minobrook Fourth Conference. This. Even if you glow, world is getting bal, let's say balancing act, but Western societies have still dominance because most of the research and studies happen there, less in developing countries. This you can say. It still, it has not, it cannot be dissociated from old CPA. Rather, old CPA still supports, like CICA is also supported by American Society of Public Administration. That is how we can talk about this.